If you own a new computer with Windows 7 and your current PC is running Windows XP, the thought of transferring your files and settings can be quite daunting. Microsoft has created a program called Windows Easy Transfer that is already included in Vista and can be downloaded for XP in 2000. Here we will take a look at the process of using it to transfer files and settings from an XP machine to the new Windows 7 operating system. Starting on the Windows 7 machine, open the Start menu and go to Getting Started and then under Tasks, click Transfer Your Files. Click through the Welcome screen and select the method for transferring the data. In this example, we'll use a network connection. Next, click on the selection indicating that this is the new computer. On this screen, click on I need to install it now. Choose a network or external drive to install the latest version of Easy Transfer. If using a flash drive, a freshly formatted one is recommended as it installs Windows Easy Transfer like a portable app which runs directly from the drive. This screen prompts you to go to the old computer, start up Easy Transfer, and run through the wizard until you get a transfer key. Now on your XP machine, run Easy Transfer from your flash drive or network drive. A progress screen will be displayed while it starts up and produces the transfer key. Enter the transfer key from the old machine onto the new Windows 7 PC and hit Next. It will then scan the old computer and determine what can and cannot be transferred over. When finished, you can select the general settings and files from all the accounts on the old machine. Click on Advanced to get a detailed Explorer view so you can specify what to transfer over. When you've decided what to transfer, then click Save and then transfer it over. The amount of time it takes will depend on how much you're transferring, speed of the network, etc. When it's all complete, you can view the transfer and program report, which shows the files and settings transferred, and also what programs are or are not compatible with Windows 7. To finish the process, a restart is required. Windows Easy Transfer can be downloaded for Windows XP and Windows 2000 from the Microsoft website. However, you might want to use the process shown in this video, since it supplies the latest version of Windows Easy Transfer. Just be aware that you might experience compatibility issues and get the error message shown here when running the downloaded version.